Hey guys, my name is Divya. I'm a doctor and I've held a management role with a healthcare company for a while. I've been doing a series of videos on my channel to help everybody out in the community to interview better and know what the interviewer is looking for when uh, they are actually interviewing with a panel or with one particular person. So I do hope that these videos are helping you. If they are, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will keep me motivated. In general, like, share, subscribe, right? Isn't that what the mantra is these days? Okay guys, so let's get right into the video. And today is a shorter chit chat video that I wanted to release. And I really wanted to answer the question that what is the interviewer looking for when they're interviewing a candidate? The answer is pretty simple. Honestly, guys, it really is. There are only two things that I look for when I'm interviewing someone subject matter expertise and positivity so it sounds too simple right but let me break this down so if you're applying for a particular job we're obviously looking for some kind of expertise in that job if you're applying for a managerial position we want some management experience and want to be able to see that you'll be able to handle different situations better than anyone else if you're applying for a SQL developer role, that we want to know that you can code and write SQL queries really well. That's really what subject matter expertise is all about. If you're interviewing for a C-sharp programmer position, then we want to know that you can code in C-sharp. Simple, right? Simple Simon, nothing too complicated, nothing over the top. Honestly, guys, it's a no-brainer. The second thing we look for is positivity. And let me just explain what I mean by that. So what I really mean is that you have the positivity or you have the attitude to do different things at different times. No matter how well a JD, a job description is written, the reality is that every job takes its own twists and turns. It has its own twists and turns and you have to be ready for that. When people come and tell me this is not part of my job and it's directly related to a deliverable or something that they're doing, I just wonder what they mean. So people who are positive and who have the right attitude, they take things in stride and they know that nothing, no amount of writing can ever make for a perfect JD. You can always have things that you were not expecting in a job, but that's still part of your job. These things happen. You know, a lot of programmers tell me, oh, I do not want to do PowerPoint presentations because I'm here only to code. But then how would we know what we're delivering, you know, in a particular sprint or in a particular cycle or a period with the number of bugs resolved or with the number of requirements or, you know, in terms of coding done? How would you know all that? You have to track it somehow. So this is really my two things, guys, my two cents for this video. Have a positive attitude and know your subject. If you've written something on a resume, on your own resume, ensure that it's true and ensure that you know it because it's probably going to come up. If these two things fit, we almost always hire the person. Just remember that the interviewer is looking to hire and close the position. I don't think there's a person who wants to keep on wasting time interviewing candidate after candidate for no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you come across these people, you just wonder what they're doing. Maybe they're not serious about hiring, but honestly, if anybody has worked in a team, in operations, in delivery, or any place where a person was required, everybody wants to close the position. So if you know your stuff and you're positive, you know what, you're going to get the job. So have that attitude, that positive attitude, and you're going to sail right through. Once again, I do hope the videos are helping you. Thank you so much for watching.